Hello, this is the PHP introduction. So some of you might be saying, what is PHP? And this definition comes right out of Wikipedia. It's a computer scripting language originally designed for producing dynamic, dynamic web pages. So why use PHP? <clears throat> for that reason alone, because you can create dynamic web pages. Um, Classic Triple, for example, right now has about nine or ten pages, but all I've really created is about four, and they just get reused for different parts. So it's really nice to be able to only create a few, but re keep reusing them. It makes it a lot less work. For all the information you need on PHP, I encourage you to visit php.net. That has the entire documentation for it right on the site there, and that's where I've learned most of my stuff. So PHP has to be installed on whatever server or computer you're using it on. Um, most servers where you'd buy your domain and have them host it, they're going to have PHP installed already. But if you wanted it on your own machine for practicing with it and setting up your web pages before you put them on that server, you're going to have to install it. That I don't know a whole lot about. I've never done it. But the installations can be found pretty easily. Right on php.net they have them. And you might have to change the MIME type, which is the multi-purpose internet mail extension to allow PHP pages. Um, what that is is just an internet standard used for describing the content type, like HTML would have one, FLV would have one, any file extension. So within the configuration file, you're going to have to add this line of code to add the PHP. And you can use a different tag than PHP at the end here. You can call it whatever you want, but I strongly suggest using PHP because it would be easier for you in the long run. Again, I don't know a whole lot about that, but I'll get right into the basics of PHP. Um, PHP is placed right within HTML code, except the file extension is changed to a PHP extension. So you can create a PHP file, like home or index, like I have here, for example, and have only HTML code in it. It's not going to matter, it'll run exactly the same as an HTML document, it just supports PHP. To use the code within that document then, these are the different methods. Um, this one is probably the most basic. This is the most preferred, the less than bracket, question mark, and PHP, and then your code within there, and then closed out with a question mark. and uh, greater than sign. And if you are really anal about um, putting in code and you like to code a lot, you can always use this one, which is the script language equals PHP and then your code and close the script. And the last one there is is the ASP syntax, which by default is off in PHP pages and you'd have to change it. I'm not exactly sure how, but you can find it fairly easily. So to the basics, how to print something using PHP, use the PHP opening tag, echo is what it's going to print, and then whatever you want to print in parentheses, and close the tag. And this example will output hello world. At the end of each statement in PHP, if you want to print hello and world on separate um, lines of code, you're going to have to use a semicolon to separate each line, and that's true for any code you put in PHP. And you can also organize PHP with white space like I've done here. Um, there's a return here to go to a new line and then tabbed out, and it's not going to matter. Um, it'll all pick up the same, just like most normal coding. And here's an example with some comments. Uh, this is how you do a single line of comment with two um, slashes before 
and that'll let you output one line as comment. Otherwise, if you want to output a block of uh, text, you'd use this and close it just the opposite. And you can jump in and out of the HTML and PHP code at any time in the PHP document. Here I've got a bold tag in HTML and then you have been here and then it jumps into PHP and echoes the variable counter and ends with time. So it'll print out you have been here uh, a number and times all in bold and this is just to kind of show how you can jump between HTML and PHP. And this brings me to my next point about variables. A uh, variable starts with the dollar sign and then can have any character or underscore within the name. Variables are case sensitive, so if you use capitals you're going to have to remember to use them again. Um, and just a side note about case sensitivity, if when you use functions they are not case sensitive. Um, when you declare the variables, uh, like I said, they're case sensitive, so capitals and lower case and underscores are all acceptable um, characters to use. Another thing about variables is they're auto-declared, what type they are. So here I have dollar sign clock tower equals one. That's going to be an integer variable. Here I have dollar num version equals 13 in quotation marks. So that's a text, so this will be a string. Uh, there's also dynamic variables where you'd put two dollar signs in front. And what that's going to do is take this as one variable and set it equal to time. And then it'll add the first dollar sign with time to create a new variable which you can assign to a new thing. So that's just kind of an introduction on what PHP is, a little bit how to get it into a PHP document, how to print, and some information about variables. But the next tutorial I will go into types of variables. Hope that helped. Thanks.